Welcome to Foodie Fatty. Tonight, we're making burgers. All right, guys, so these are the ingredients you're going to need. You're going to need some ground beef, one packet or two, depending on how, how many burgers you're making. Now, these are more of the condiments that are go going to go on um, at the end. So let me switch this around. We're going to saute up some onion. You could do red or white, whichever you prefer. We have ketchup, mustard, sliced hot jalapenos. Then what's going into our actual burger patties would be a little Worcestershire, I cannot say this, Worcestershire sauce. I have a little salt, ground black pepper, garlic, onion. Now that's a little olive oil back there just to, you know, maybe get the pan coated. And then we have this... Um, Bone Guards Creamery's uh, American cheese here. It's, it's very similar to uh, Velveeta cheese. All right, guys, so now I have my bowl of ground beef here. We used about half of the package. I'm just gonna season it generously with the little, with the seasons I showed you earlier. I'm gonna start off with the onion. Now these are the little flakes of onion. I like them. I would prefer the ground onion, but the store didn't have those, so I'm going to take the top off, because I like a lot of onion. And we're just going to throw, hmm, let's see, I would say about three tablespoons, about three tablespoons of the onion flakes. And I have some garlic here. You don't need a whole bunch of garlic. Just something to, you know, add a little kick. I would say probably about a tablespoon or less. Of course, a burger isn't a burger. There's ground black pepper. There's something special about that ground black pepper on a burger. So we're going to add, you know, about a, eh, well, maybe two teaspoons of that or half a tablespoon. I don't know. You know, I'm not good with measurements. You just, I just go with the flow, you know, eyeball everything. And then we have some idolized salt. And I'm just going to pour some in my hand so I have control of what I'm putting in there. That should be enough. Now I'm adding a little bit of this Worcestershire. Worcestershire. No one ever knows how to say this name right. And I, I Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. All right, guys. So I'm going to change the camera angle here, and we're about to get our hands dirty. Okay, everybody. So sorry you can't see me too well. I did have a light here, like a studio light or a, a photography light here, but I think it's a little too bright. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, for this angle, it's not that bad. So we'll keep it on for this angle. All right, so I got my bowl here. I have my hamburger here and all my seasonings and my uh, onion flakes here. You know what, I might have a little parsley. Something special about parsley too. It'll just make things look pretty. <laughs> Start mixing this up. Kind of like you do meatloaf. Except most meatloaf, you would add a little egg in here too, but we're going to mix this up so everything's nice and blended. Mmm, it smells good. The Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce really smells good. There you go, though. You can see there. Everything's nice and mixed. All right, so what I have here is a large cast iron skillet. You can get one of these at your local Walmart for about 20 bucks. Very nice. After you use it, they say you're not supposed to clean it with water. So I'll just usually wipe it out and oil it down with a little olive oil and salt to kind of clean it out. But sometimes, depending on what I cook, cook or bake in it, <coughs> it needs to get like scrubbed. So I set the fire on about a medium. And uh, yeah, we're going to get ready to patty these um, burgers up. Okay, everybody, so the skillet is heating up. We're going to make our burgers kind of a nice size because the buns are 
they're a good size. Um, I forgot to show you, but I will show you. I have four large sesame seed potato buns. Now, I know in the restaurants they'll make it into a ball and smash it down and all that fancy smanchy stuff. But we're just home cooking tonight. So I do it with my hands. And you just smash it down to a nice flat patty. Like some people like to make a little like an indentation in the middle of the uh, patty because it supposedly helps the patty stay flat. So if you want to do that, do it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. All right, everybody. So I have four jumbo patties here. And I'll probably kind of press them together again just to make sure they don't fall apart because they might. <laughs> I got my pan heating up here. Probably shouldn't have my cheese there yet. Pan, it was smoking a little bit, so I had to turn it down. But now my pan is nice and hot. Now, some people add a little olive oil to the pan. But I already oiled this pan and the uh, hamburger is going to give off a lot of grease. So I'm not going to put any oil. Okay. We got one. Patty. Oh, they're all right. Two patties. Let's go ahead and fit this mumbo jumbo one in there. Actually, I could fit all four. So, um, you can smash them down a little more if you want. This one needs smashing. It's the fattest one. Just make sure they don't try to come apart on you. So you want to let these burgers cook a few minutes. Jeez, I would say maybe a good four minutes, five minutes on each side. You know, some people will lift them and see how brown they are. And then, you know, they'll judge whether they want to flip it or not. Uh, some people like to wait till you get a little brown crust on the edges. So we could do that too. Whatever works. All right. So while the burgers are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and chop up this onion nice and thin. Because I'm going to saute some onions to go on the burger as well. My One of my favorite YouTube channels, Deer Meat for Dinner, he says, let me ask you a question. What's the proper way to peel an onion? And I said, one layer at a time. Cute. There's a little trick. You could cut off a side of that onion to make it flat. You see that? I just cut that side off so we can lay this down and it won't move. See? Nice and still. So you have a safer cut. Like medallions like this. Alright, so we have our onions here. Nicely chopped into the little rings here. Like as, as if you're making onion rings, but not as uh, thick. I was able to fit that fourth one in there. And you guys weren't looking. <laughs> Alright, so these guys are doing good. I'm going to give them a few more minutes. To, uh, let these guys sizzle for a little longer. And then we'll get ready to flip. Alright everybody, so we're getting ready to cut the cheese. Alright, so I'm going to just cut... Let's see, let's cut slices here so these are big enough to go a slice on each patty very much like Velveeta cheese tonight we're sipping one of my good and faithful Sutter Home Cabernet $5.99 a bottle <laughs> mm. okay everybody so yeah we're redoing this part because I, was record I wasn't recording the whole time I did it the first time. So this is take two. <laughs> so I have my onions over here. They're cooking down. I added a few uh, yellow and orange peppers whole. They're the small ones. And we're just going to have those on the side. We're going to let those get nice and brown on each side. And let all that the flavor come out. Now you guys didn't see me do this, but I took the drippings from the burger... And I added them in with the onions, so they'll have some nice yummy goodness to cook down in. Just going to cover those up. We have the fire on low. We'll let that cheese get nice and melty, and we're going to top it with these yummy onions. That smells so good. So I'm toasting up some buns. 
A little bit, not too much. Let's see, I have one there. It's not too toasted. Just a little bit to add a little extra flavor to the burgers. All right, guys, so here's some of the grilled onions. I'm going to put some... Oops, some fell. And put some right over the top of these burgers here. Here's some jalapenos. Those are going to automatically fall off. I'm going to fix those up. And then we're going to put a few on this one that are going to fall off. I like, uh, usually I like mayo and ketchup. But we're doing, we're going to do a little brown spicy mustard. In both. Hold on, let's, uh, let's fix his up. Because, uh, quite a few fell off of his. My babe likes spicy stuff, so... I usually put a little extra spicy stuff on his. I tell you, I need a camera person. Anybody want to be my camera person? <laughs> Babe, you want ketchup, right? Uh, just a dab. Just a dab, okay. See, I like a lot of ketchup. Babe likes just a dab. He likes a lot of mustard, and I like just a dab. On It depends on what it is. Like burgers, I don't like a lot of mustard, but sausage, yes. So we're going to put, this is mine, we're going to put a lot of ketchup, because I like a lot of ketchup. Babe just wants a dab. That's a dab. All right, everybody, so we have, it's good? <laughs> I got the approval. Babe said it's very good. So... This is the burger. Got the peppers. Got the little jalapeno peppers that go on the burger. Onions. You know everything will fall off. Big burgers are messy. Alright guys. That is good, babe. Damn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mmm. Mmm. The pepper is nice and sweet. It's not hot. It has a nice kick to it. Onions are sweet. Hey guys, make yourself a good burger. Grill yourself a good burger. And toast up some peppers on the side with toasted buns. Really good. Grill some onions on top. Mmm. You guys. Make some good burgers with your family. Get some good drinks. And that was a good time. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Until next time. Salud. Mmm.